Welcome back to The Lead. Just in to CNN, former presidential nominee Mitt Romney says Donald Trump's refusal to release his tax returns is, quote, disqualifying. In a Facebook post, Romney, a longtime Trump critic, says, quote, it is disqualifying for a modern-day presidential nominee to refuse to release tax returns to the voters, especially one who has not been subject to public scrutiny in either public military or public service. Romney goes on to say, quote, there is only one logical explanation for Mr. Trump's refusal to release his returns. There is a bombshell in them. Given Mr. Trump's equanimity with other flaws in his history, we can only assume it's a bombshell of unusual size, unquote. Donald Trump has already christened his likely Democratic opponent, Crooked Hillary, and given the staying power of Senator Bernie Sanders, who demolished Clinton in the West Virginia primary, Mr. Trump decided to mark that occasion by bestowing one of his trademark nasty nicknames upon Sanders as well. Crazy Bernie, he called him. Sanders reiter reiterated last night that he is in the race to win the nomination. CNN senior Washington correspondent Jeff Zeleny is in Blackwood, New Jersey, where Hillary Clinton spoke today. Jeff, with Sanders still in the race, some Democratic officials are concerned that Clinton is being pulled to the left instead of focusing on the general election. Jake, there's little doubt that throughout the course of the last year, Hillary Clinton has moved left on trade, on immigration, on health care, just among a few things here. But she's following Bernie Sanders, no question, but also where her party is. It is in such a different place than when she first ran eight years ago. But it's an open question how that will play in the general election. In a general, in a general election with Donald Trump, who's on the left of Hillary Clinton, anything could be fair game. Camden, thank you, New Jersey. Hillary Clinton is moonlighting, still campaigning for the Democratic primary. If we do what we need to do in the next few weeks, we will have a big victory on June 7th that will take us all the way to the White House. Even as she desperately tries concentrating on the battle ahead. It's pretty clear at this point that we're going to have a real difference in the general election. She's focusing more and more on Donald Trump. But Bernie Sanders remains a distraction. His West Virginia victory on Tuesday promises to keep the Democratic race alive. In New Jersey today, Clinton was all Trump all the time. I have to tell you how concerned I am with what I hear Trump saying. I have said that he is a loose cannon. From policy to personal attacks. I am not going to respond to the insults and the attacks coming from Donald Trump in this campaign. But her Democratic rival is still on stage, winning one contest after another. He's talking Trump, too. While we may have many disagreements with Secretary Clinton, there is one area we agree, and that is we must defeat Donald Trump. Sanders' big 15-point win in West Virginia earning him only seven more delegates than Clinton. The commanding victory does little to change Clinton's muscular lead in delegates. But Clinton is steadily moving left, following Sanders and what voters like about him. The latest shift comes on health care, saying this week people over 50 should be able to buy into Medicare plans. I also am in favor of what's called the public option so that people uh, can uh, buy into uh, you know, Medicare above a certain age. From trade? to immigration to the minimum wage. Clinton is aligning with more liberal positions, setting up a political test for the fall election. There used to be some but Clinton made clear she just wants to get there. We are better than the campaign that the presumptive nominee for the Republican Party is running. You know, the choice in this campaign literally could not be clearer. Of course, that campaign is the general election campaign she's talking about. But, Jake, she still has that primary fight. That's why Hillary Clinton is campaigning here in New Jersey. There's about a month left to go in this Democratic contest. Jake? Jeff Zeleny in the Garden State. Thank you so much.